Hi, I'm Linda Hacker, a reference librarian at Drake Memorial Library. Welcome to APA Quick Ends. So, why cite? There are three main reasons to cite. The first is to prove your own credibility to your reader. And remember, your main reader at school is your instructor. The second reason is to lead the reader to more information. And the third reason is plagiarism. You want to give credit to the author. Remember, you didn't come up with the quotes or ideas, so give credit. Remember, give credit where credit is due. Whenever you use another's work, you must acknowledge that in two places, the reference list and at the location of the quote or paraphrase. This is called an in-text citation. Quoting is when you use the exact wording, word for word, and paraphrasing is where you take the author's words and put them into your own words. The in-text citation for quotations will include the author's last name, year, and you must use a page number or paragraph number. For websites, you will need to count paragraphs down the page. If you note the author at the beginning of the quote, then the year goes in parentheses next to the author's name and the page number at the end, as you can see in the first example. If you don't start your sentence with the author's name, then all three pieces of information go at the end of the quote, as in the second example, author, year, page. When paraphrasing, you only need to include the author and year. These two examples are very similar to quoting. If you note the author at the beginning, then the year goes in the parentheses right after the name. If you don't note the author, then put both pieces of information at the end of the paraphrase. Never use a web address URL in an in-text citation. Remember, your in-text citation includes the author, and the web address is not the author. If you don't have an author for the website, use the organization name as author. The corresponding references for the in-text citation go on the reference page at the end of your paper. Most references should include the author's name. If you don't have a person, look for the organization name, date of publication, title of work, volume, issue, and page numbers for a journal, and publication name for a book. Each reference entry is indented after the first line, which is called a hanging indent. Only the major publication for each entry is italicized. The article is included in the journal title, so the journal title is italicized. Chapter title is included in the book, so the book title is italicized. And never use bold, underlined, or colored text in references. Notice the references begin with the author's name, then date in parentheses, then title. For a book, you include the publication name. For a magazine or journal article, you include the magazine or journal's name. Note that the magazine or journal title is italicized because it includes the article. So let's take a look at this reference. What's an example of? As you look at it, note there are two titles. There isn't any publication information, and there are volume, issue, and page numbers. The volume is 51, the issue is 2, and the page numbers are 251 to 253. It's a journal article. This has volume and issue numbers. And notice the journal title, Comparative Education Review, is in italics. The in-text citation for this quote which will you use at the location of the quotes or paraphrases from this article would be Fishman, comma, the year 2007, comma, and the page you'd used. For example, I used page 251. This is an example of an article where there is no author. For the reference page, the title begins the citation. And when putting the citation with the rest of the references, just follow alphabetically and Darfur would go with the author's names that begin with the letter D. For the in-text citation, in place of author, use the first word or two of the title in quotes that would identify the article on the reference page. For this example, the word Darfur would suffice. There are rules for the numbers of authors. If you have a single author, 
you just put the last name first, followed by the author initials. If you have two authors, list by their last names and initials. Use the ampersand instead of and. Note there is a comma after the first name and before the ampersand. Three to 20 authors. List by last names and initials. Commas separate author names while the last author name is preceded again by an ampersand. More than 20 authors use the first 19 names, then comma, then three periods and ellipses, then the last name. Here's another test. What is this an example of? There are two titles, Globalization and Immigration, and Globalization, What's New? But there is also publication information and page numbers. The publication information and the word in are your clues. This is an example of a chapter from an edited book. Borges wrote the article, Weinstein edited the book. Borges is the person you are actually quoting. So the in-text citation for a quote would be Borges, comma, 2005, comma, page, and for instance, I use 78. And if you are paraphrasing, you would use Borges, comma, 2005. Some references don't have people as authors. If the item is produced by an organization, then the organization is the author, such as in the first example, American Psychological Association. When there is no author, you may recall that in place of the author, use the title. Let's take a look at these two examples. The first one has publication information. How does that clue you in as to what type of reference this is? The second one has volume and page information. What do you think this reference is? The first one is a book. Only the first letter is capitalized. And the second one is a journal title. All the letters of the journal title are capitalized. If the word of or the or any small word in the title, with the exception of at the beginning, is used, then those will be small letters. For internet sources, you should include title or description of document, date of posting or update, the URL, which is the web address, and for the author, if there is no actual author, then use the organization name. Make sure that your URLs you cite work from your paper. This is an example of a U.S. government report on a website. The author in this case is the U.S. Department of State. Note the title is in italics, all lowercase with the exception of the first letter and then the letter after the colon. Do not include a period at the end of your URL since readers must be able to access the references site correctly. For interviews, emails, and other irretrievable correspondence, the information should be included in the text in your paper, but not in the references. For example, an email from Patty M. Smith, you could write as an in-text citation, P. A. Smith, comma, personal communication, and the date.